Bonnie here. It is Wednesday morning. Um, I have a couple of whips to show you that I didn't get a chance to show in uh, yesterday's video. No, day before. Um, so, uh, first off, coffee. Powered by yarn and coffee. Just regular coffee with some heavy cream in it. Not really having breakfast this morning. I had some pork rinds. Uh, for lunch, I think I'm going to have a ham and egg and cheese chaffle sandwich. So anyway, one of the whips that I am working on is a rectangular shawl. And it's taken a while because it is a, a small yarn and a small hook. And it's just what I work on while I'm sitting here at the kitchen table. So this is the shawl that I am working on, and uh, the the pattern is from uh, is on uh, Jade and Stitches. It was the Old Country Bridges. Uh, I don't know. I'll either I'll have to link it in the in the cards or uh, in the description box down below. But here it is so far. Um, I still got a ways to go because I want it to be kind of long uh, lengthwise. Uh, as far as width, it's, it's pretty long. So if you can see the uh, the country bridges pattern in there. All right. Okay. The yarn that I am using for this is some that was uh, gifted to me. Uh, back in August uh, by uh, Pam at Pamela's Creations and I might have to get the glasses out to see this. Now this says that it is a four weight yarn. Okay. So I beg to differ. This is an actual four weight yarn. This is um, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And this is uh, this uh, Himalaya Everyday Viking. It's an anti pilling yarn. And they're calling this a four weight. Okay. This is next to the Red Heart. Can you see the difference here? Real four weight yarn. <laughs> what they say is four weight yarn. And the hook size that they recommend, well, honestly, they don't give a hook size. They just give a uh, size for knitting needles and that is a uh, four millimeter so they don't give a hook size but the hook that I am using for this project is a 3.25 <laughs> so that is how small this yarn is and uh, I am I'm currently about halfway through the third skein there and I have five of them so this is what I am using for the shawl and I am loving it. it is so soft so very soft so you know a while back I would never have done a, a project that required a yarn this small but I'm I'm really liking it a lot. So downstairs I have another shawl going, and it is using the uh, the Lion Brand Kobu yarn, and I'm doing a shawl. It's going to be a, a really lacy shawl, a triangular shawl, and the pattern for that one is uh, by uh, Robin, hooked by Robin. Uh, she's in the UK, but she does use US terminology, and she is one of my very favorite. Uh, uh, crochet guru youtubers um, 
her voice is just really soothing to me. I love to listen to her, and I love her tutorials. She's very, uh, she's very uh, exact. Uh, I don't know what words I'm looking for, but she makes it very easy. Uh, she explains very well what exactly she is doing. She goes slow enough for you to understand. Um, so I will link her down below too as well. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have any other whips up here, but I do have some finished washcloths uh, since, uh, let's see, since Monday, since I showed that video on Monday of all the washcloths, I have uh, a few more since then, so uh, this one I did yesterday, I'm going to do two more just like it, and uh, I used, uh, a five millimeter hook for this and this is the uh, moss stitch love the zigzag effect going on there and then I'm going to do two more of these this is the Trinity stitch and I used a 4.5 millimeter hook on this I absolutely love the Trinity it's probably one of my favorite ones to do and this is the uh, I love this cotton. Oh, this was using the uh, Lily Sugar and Cream. And then the, uh, I love this cotton for, for this one. And then, uh, let's see. This here looks kind of wonky. I need to block it. <laughs> Uh, I used a 5.5mm uh, hook on this one, and I did the uh, cobblestone stitch. This is using the uh, Lily Sugar and Cream. And then I've got two more, the same pattern, in the white, and then just a uh, border using whatever color this is. I don't have the band up here with me, so I don't know what it is, what color it is. So I've got two of them. And I was going to have another one just like this, but I actually ran out of yarn on the second row of the border, or the second side of the border, so I have to one of these days go back to Joanne's and get more. Um... So apparently I really do like this stitch a lot because here's three more <laughs> using the Trinity stitch and the uh, I love this cotton. So yeah, so I've got actually four of them here <laughs> with this, this particular stitch. So yeah, I really, really like this stitch a lot. Okay. So... That is what I've got right now. Um, the next one, the next uh, one I'm going to open is going to be this one. So I'm going to start using these after this other one is done. And I think for these, I might do a uh, moss stitch. If not, I'll probably end up doing more Trinity stitch. Uh, but, all right. That is it for now. Oh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about. I went to uh, the Dollar Tree last week. And I got a couple of rolls of yarn. But I also got some crochet hooks from the Dollar Tree. And I wasn't expecting, you know, anything of great quality. Being as it's the Dollar Store. But I went ahead and bought them just to see, just, you know, out of curiosity. And to be honest, I really like them. And you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I, I ended up putting, like, uh, hair ties around them because they have a hard plastic body to them, so they're kind of slippery. But these are the hooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I really, really like them a lot. They're uh, not quite a tapered hook, but they're not an inline hook either. Um, 
they're probably more towards the tapered, which is weird that I like them because I don't really like the tapered hooks. But anyway, uh, let's see. This is the 4.5. They only had the three sizes. So 4.5, which is what I use for the I Love This Cotton yarn. And then uh, <clears throat> they have the 5mm, which is an H hook. So I use this hook for the uh, <clears throat> for this washcloth and I am losing everything out of my bag here <laughs> I have my bag sitting here it's what I keep all my stuff in that I take outside all of my little tally marks and stuff and all my hooks and scissors and whatnot and then this last one is a 5.5 which is an eye hook uh, See if, if you'll be able to see this in the camera. I don't know if you can actually see that. I can't see it, but <laughs> so yeah, that's a 5.5 hook, and I really like them. I just wish that they had more of a, a rubberized handle. They would be not so slippery, but otherwise, they work up really. I mean, they they go through the yarn really smooth. Uh, not as smooth as the Clover or More, but, or even the Clover Soft Touch, but they're still, they're good. And these are the ones that I keep to take outside with me. That way I'm not taking my good hooks outside. Um, this one I put in there. This one, see this, the Clover, uh, Soft Touch there, they're a little slippery too, so I've got <laughs> just ponytail holders or hair ties around them. So, put that stuff all back. So, that is it for right now. I'm going to uh, go downstairs for a few minutes and let a sleeping dog out. She's, she's sitting up, but she's about ready to fall over because she's falling asleep. Pepper! <laughs> oh, poor dog. Alright, so I will check back in later. Alright, here is my lunch. Just two ham and cheese chaffle sandwiches. So, that is lunch. Okay, here is the blanket that I'm working on for my niece. This is the progress I've made. little stitch marker that I got from Pam Pamela's Creations and this is the table that my got my uh, my dad got down out of the rafters for me to use so I could spread out a little bit more but this is the raised shell stitch very soft here's my little cheat sheet so as you can see, the uh, pattern is from Creative Grandma, the raised shell stitch. This is the hook I am using. I have another piece of paper around here that tells me where I left off every time I, I stop. So, all right, so that's the progress on that. All right, so as I said earlier, I have another whip down here. Um, it is a shawl, and I haven't gotten very far on it. Um, I think I've only done like 16 rows, but I love it so far. And this is it so far. That's all I've got. <laughs> got my cute little stitch marker on it. It's got the size hook that I'm using. It's a G hook, a four millimeter. So yeah, this is this is it so far. The hook I'm using and the yarn that I'm using for this shawl is the Lion Brand Kobu and this is a uh, uh, a light three weight yarn and so far I'm really really liking it a lot I do have to go a little bit slower otherwise I will split the yarn but it's not too bad. 
I, I've done this pattern before. Uh, I think I used, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's a yarn, Let's see if I can point to it. That right there, right above my finger, is what I used before to make this pattern. Uh, I'll have to put a picture up of what that is that I used for the pattern before, but uh, the pattern is done by uh, Robin at Hooked by Robin. I believe I said that earlier. She is in the UK, but she does use US terminology. So anyway, that is the whip that I've got going on down here. I am still chipping away slowly at the blanket that I'm making for my niece out in the living area. And it is the uh, raised shell stitch. And you can find that stitch on uh, Creative Grandma. I will link that below if I remember. <laughs> uh, uh, when I get off, when I get done here, I will show you that blanket before I head upstairs. So to show, just to show you what I've got so far. Um, I have shown it before, so I haven't gotten very far on it. It's just one that I'm going real slow at because I keep finding other things to do. All right, so I will be back in a little bit. All right, you can actually see it a little bit better when it is laid out. And I, I have worked a little bit more on it since earlier, so got a couple more rows on it. And I don't have one of them really pretty handy dandy uh, yarn bowls, so I just use this. But yeah, I, I love this pattern. Here is my dinner. It is just the Portofino Yolfin tuna with uh, I'd say about half of an avocado and some lemon juice. Hey there, so I am done with this day. Um, I just got out of the shower. <laughs> um, so I did make a washcloth while I was sitting outside, but it ended up being too small. So I'm going to probably rip it out and do it over. But this is what I made while I was outside. I used this yarn here. It is, uh, I love this cotton, too pink. And so far, I think this is probably one of my favorite colorways because it is pink and green combined, and I love it. Uh, I'm working on another one. Uh, this is going to be a Trinity stitch, and I am using, let's see, this one is called Spunky. This kind of has uh, fall colors, which I like, even though we're <laughs> in spring, or going into spring. I really like these colors a lot. So anyway, that's what's going on right now. I'm getting ready to have some hot tea. And finish this washcloth. Watch some videos. Probably tear this one out and redo it, make it bigger. And I'm going to have a couple of these, uh, these keto, keto snaps that I got from Costco. Two of them is one serving. So I'm going to have that with my hot tea. So if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.